Hello Leo, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. Leo, if you are new here, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay, so if you have Leo in any of those placements in your chart, this is just about be the reading for you. Do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything, okay? Best time for you to watch or listen to my readings, Leo, is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless. There's no time frame, no time limit, no expiry date, okay? Leo, do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings that I've done for you in the recent past, okay? Uh, especially if this reading doesn't resonate for you. You might want to check some of the other ones that I've done for your, for your, for your sign. But Leo, uh, don't just focus on your sun sign, okay? Uh, do check what signs you have in your other placements, mostly moon, uh, rising in Venus. And then you might want to check some other readings for those specific signs. Sometimes your uh, messages come stronger from there. Okay, it all depends. Also check if you're a cusper. Okay, cusp sign, you know, if... Um, Google up what's a cusp sign and then you'll understand. Okay? But some of you could be a Cancer Leo or Leo Virgo cusp. To know that, you have to know exactly the dates. And um, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support the channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. Last but not least, Leo. I had already previously announced this and I will continue just a few more times, you know, but I decided to no longer give or offer personal uh, readings. I don't know if at the moment, I don't know if it's temporarily or if it will always be that way from now on. Okay, I just need some of the, some of my time back, okay, for my own personal projects. And I hope you understand. And Leo, um, still, if you would like to, you know, reach out and contact me, please go ahead. All the information is in the description box down below, okay? Do keep in mind that I do not reach out to anyone. It's the only way you can contact me, but I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please be aware of any scams, okay? All right, Lee, let's get started. Let's take a deep breath. Hold it. And release it slowly. Okay, Leo, the heart of the matter, what this reading is about, or the current energies you're dealing with, or we'll be dealing with soon, is the Four of Cups, okay? So we are in the state of, I don't know if it's boredom or, you know, you're just simply not, <sighs> maybe you're just not, you know, very happy with the way how things have turned in a specific situation, okay? You're not uh, content with the results, okay? How things have manifested or how things have turned out, okay? But it's time for you to, to take a new offer, a new beginning, okay? Don't, uh, don't ignore it. Stop waiting for some of you for something to happen, okay? The only way that something's going to change is by you accepting a new emotional offer, okay? That's why you're just looking at those three cups, but you're not looking at what's trying to come in for you, okay? Some of you are not even aware of this, and, you know, Divine is really trying to tell you, you know, you got to look the other way. There's something better for you, but you have to go and get it. You have to, you have to, you have to get up. You, you got to get off your ass and get it. Go after it, okay? That's literally what this card is saying. Okay. Okay, Leo, the energy that's crossing you, and it could be a challenge or a blockage. Three of Wands. Uh huh. You're not turning your back on the situation. Okay. To put your eyes on a new horizon, on the promised land that, you know. Moses has been searched for many years. Same thing for you here, you know. 
see how he's turning his back, you know, looking the other way and understanding that there's something much better out there, a wider world, a wider vision of things, okay? A better understanding of things, okay? This is a card of envisioning. But, uh, yeah. Since it's right after the Two of Wands, which is, you know, they're very similar energies, this continuity of, of, of that energy, you know. Two of Wands is when you're ready. But uh, that's probably why this is a blockage, because you're not ready somehow, okay? But hey, it is time to start focusing on something better. The energy that is crowning you in your conscious mind, you are aware of this. Um, maybe you're constantly thinking about it. Tower, Scorpio energy. It's, it's, uh, it's really, uh, I don't know if you are trying to prevent this tower from coming. I think you know that sooner or later it's going to happen. Okay. I think that some of you know that if you don't take action, something's going to, you know, chase you and bite you in the ass. <laughs> Um, some of you probably somehow would like this tower moment to come in and change things for you for the better you know and obviously tower moments are always for the better but uh, I get a, a very strong advice here that you shouldn't wait for this to happen because it's going to be harder on you. I think you just have to get up and be very decisive and take this new opportunity, this new offer that is being handed to you before, before things um, get out of hand. Okay? Okay, let me see. Okay, let's let's let me see if I am picking up on the energy properly. The energy that's uh, below you, your subconscious mind, you don't see clearly, and you should because it's what the divine is trying to tell you. Yeah, I think I am picking it up on, on it properly. Um, you're not aware of this, and you should because. Uh, your subconscious or divine is trying to tell you this. Eight of Wands, you know, please uh, do take action as quick as possible. Try to clear the air. Um, try to clear your energy. Try to put things in proper perspective. Go after aim high. Don't settle for less, okay? Yes, don't settle for less. That's what this energy is also telling us here. Um, but it's time for quick changes, and fast and quick changes in movement to, yeah, to change things for you, to get out of this. It's lack of emotion or, I don't know, it's just, there's no action. There's no adventures. You have to go after something that, that, that thrills you. Don't wait for something to happen. Okay? It's very important. Because it's just gonna, it's just gonna be harder for you. It might be even more painful. Some of you are thinking that maybe, you know, you have to cause a tower moment.
or you know that whatever you will do, you will cause a tower moment. And maybe that's why you're trying to prevent it. Behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, or just the energy that's pushing you through this two of, two of cups. Some of you, this could be a relationship or some, or no, not necessarily. It could be a, any type of relationship, job, uh, love or um, or love, romantic, uh, maybe in a family relationship where you probably somehow felt that things were balanced between you and this other individual or situation. Some type of healing. Maybe some of you wanted to heal or you tried to heal something, but it turns out that you couldn't. That's why you're so dis you're discontent in this energy. But you tried your best to do something. But it didn't work out. And you know, something about time. It's something about like, it's you're running out of time. It's time to, to move on, to turn your back on this situation and, and change things as quickly as possible. Leo, in one of your previous readings, I just remembered something about you tried. Is that what I titled your reading before? Or maybe I just spoke about it on that reading, but I have that phrase very, very present. You know? You tried to do something, okay? You did it. You did it with pure love. You tried to heal something, okay? Between you and this individual or situation, but uh, it didn't work out as expected. This is why you're discontent, but you're still sitting there. That's, that's the main issue in this reading. You have to stop sitting and waiting for something to happen, okay? Some of you are waiting for a miracle to happen. Hmm. Strange. In front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you. Near future for some of you. This is kind of interesting. The lover's Gemini energy. You see how it's almost like the same, you know? Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energies. But this is the Major Arcana. It seems that Leo, once you do turn your back on this that didn't work out, and you accept a, a new offer or a new beginning, something, a new emotional beginning, then you will step into an energy where you are going to come into divine union with something that is divinely meant for you. Not this, but you will go into this. And you don't see that right now, okay? But this is divinely meant for you to do. But there is something here. It's a sacrifice of you leaving behind what didn't work out, what you tried to work out on, so that then you can step into the real deal here, the real thing that is divinely meant for you. 
this tower energy in your conscious mind now I doesn't has doesn't have to necessarily be have to be a tower moment in the situation but I can also sense that it's your divine masculine and your divine feminine that have been probably very thrown off and maybe you are aware of that maybe this tower moment already came in for you you know by understanding that you are not um, capable of what is it healing working with this energy for some of you it was even a shocking revelation something take that as it resonates okay This is how you see or how you should see or respond to the situation. Okay, this is a representation of yourself in the situation. Ace of Pentacles. It's a, it's a brand new stable beginning. This is how you have, you know, it's a brand new opportunity for you. It's time for you to accept this. Uh, very new, stable and abundant energy. Could be even very, fi you know, financial. But, um, yeah, I think this is what, 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 what's coming in to store for you once you do accept this new beginning, this new offer. Tower moment in your conscious mind is also telling me, Leo, to just, you know, to allow things to crumble right before your eyes and don't stress so much about it if that's the case, okay? Whatever it is, there's a tower moment and you might be very aware of it, okay? The point here is that you have to allow it, accept it and just focus on what you truly deserve to move on, leave it behind and go into this energy that is divinely meant for you. So then you can have this stable beginning. You have to allow the energy to flow. Okay. That's also allowing the energy to flow. Let things move. Don't sit and wait, waiting for nothing. Okay, the energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you or affecting you is the wheel of fortune. Okay, it's, it's literally just telling you, you know, come on, hop on. The wheel's turning in your favor. Stop sitting and waiting for something. It's time for you to get up, and take advantage of this energy. Okay. And this very 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 nice because everything is divine divine timing divinely meant for you right at the nick of time right at the nick of time as soon as this tower moment is coming in stand up walk away and and you'll see that you will be divinely protected and that's what the lover's card also tells us, you know, with the archangel in the background, watching over. That's divine protection right there. Okay. Um, some of you, you know, did come to a decision mm -hmm. about something, you know. Um, all I can say is that I think you tried. You tried your best and you did the best you could. That's it. That's probably all that was needed. Sometimes divine tests us that way. Divine doesn't need results. Divine just wants you to see how you, um, how would I say? Well, you know, how you try. 
And when you do that divine it says, okay, now it's time to price them. Hopes and fears, seven of swords, you know. Um, some of you are afraid that you'll be seen this way once you walk away from this or you leave, leave something behind, you know. And you might be being sneaky and maybe just being, you know, just thinking about yourself and that's it, you know. I don't think you should fear, but I don't think you should even think about that, you know. I truly believe that maybe so, it's not, it's the only way, okay, to just, the way you have to move out of this, you know, uh, whatever others or someone or whatever, you know, whatever they think about you, let, that's their problem. Let them deal with their insecurities and their doubts and how they see, how they judge, how they criticize people, okay? Don't let that affect you. Some of you are wondering, you know, will I be, will I be able to gather my things? When I say things, this can be physically or just your energy, you know. Will I be able to gather my energy, my things, and move on from the situation without getting hurt? Or maybe by being an unnoticed, okay? Well, that's just your hopes and fears. It's in your mind. Don't let that affect you too much. Just take action here. It's, you know, this is a card of action, but it's also about letting things flow, okay? But don't sit and wait for something to happen. Don't do that to yourself. Leo, outcome or advice, put your pentacles. There's that pentacle, okay? That's you starting fresh. It's pages, a new beginning. It's a, it's a childish energy for some of you, but I mean, not childish like being like a kid. No, it's just starting like starting like a fresh child again. A new journey, a new beginning, a new life. And don't be afraid to start fresh again, to start new, to start small, okay? Keep your hopes high. You see how he's looking up, even offering that pentacle up to something, you know? It's almost like it's almost like the connecting with the star energy. You know, it's high hopes, you connecting to a higher force, having faith, trusting, you know, trusting in yourself, trusting in, in the path that you have to to move on. But take that pentacle and, and go after that new beginning. Okay? It's time for you to it's time for you to take that cup and Move out of this. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups. There you are. That's you. Ready for a new journey. Okay. Moving on. Take that cup with you. And uh, embarking a new journey. You know, that's, that's, um, that's that night in search of the Holy Grail. You know, the Holy Grail is right here our most utter, highest desire in life. You're being called to go in search of that holy girl. Or maybe it has already been offered to, to you. Now it's just whether you want to take it and, and move on with it, you know? To a new journey. Something new, very stable. It's going to be good, but you have to, you have to trust. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo, let's clear. Well, let's uh, get additional messages in case I'm missing something. Um, warnings, maybe, or, you know, just anything else that has to come out. Then we'll close your reading with the Spirit of the Animal Stick. Give it three shuffles, and then I'll take a jumper.
Okay, what else would you like to tell Leo regarding this reading or situation? If there's something I'm missing or if there's something important they need to know, what would it be, please? What else? Thank you. Lovers in the bottom of the deck. Okay. Leo, there's something meant for you. It's not this, but it's where you're supposed to be headed to. Okay. I mean, like, really, this is just not. It's a it's double confirmation. Okay. The card flew out. Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords, I'm sorry. Why do I say Nine of Wands? Because Nine of Wands are burdens, you know? What? Yeah? Yeah. No. It's Ten of Wands. I'm sorry. But it's being trapped. It's being trapped in a situation where you're stressing. It's time for you to release this anxiety, this, you know, stress, this, um, yeah, this, this situation has been keeping you in a very stressed state. Um, please be mindful of your health here, okay? This is why we have a tower crowning you, and I think you know that, okay? Your health could be a little bit at risk, especially if you just sit there waiting for something to happen, for a miracle. No. Uh, please, Leo, uh, take this new opportunity, this new offer that has been handed to you, okay? It's something better for you. There's something very beautiful for you, okay? It's meant for you. Divinely meant for you. Okay? Don't try to fix what you can't fix, what you shouldn't fix. You're just going to end up uh, hurting yourself more. Divine sees that you did your work by the way I said, you did your best. That's it. You did your best and the other situation or person or party didn't. Do the work, you see? But the vine saw that you did. And that's how it works. You can't work with someone who never puts the work on themselves. You just can't. It doesn't work that way. Okay? You already did your part. Second. Thank you. Leo, you have a peacock. Vibrancy. That's a beautiful card. Okay. And what the peacock card says is that you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life. And more good things will come, absolutely. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. You know, that's also recognizing yourself as, you know, seeing what you already have, you know, seeing how truly stable you are, you know? Because that's the way you should also respond to situations. That's should how I take that also, okay? All right, Leo, uh, that's the best I can do for you, okay? Uh, it's not an easy reading, but uh, I'm still a little concerned about that tower crowning you, you know? And I do believe that it could be your health. Please be careful, okay? Be mindful of your, of your health and uh, focus on you and moving on, okay? Taking the opportunity. This will of fortune is trying to change in your favor. Leo... Um, if you enjoyed, if you like it, please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. 
And I do hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed, Leo. Goodbye.